Hey, welcome to my video on how to get your new Avalon started in mining. It's super easy to do, and uh, this is the interface on the screen that you'll you'll see once you get to it. And you'll notice that the uh, address is 192.168.1.100. Now, in order for you to communicate on the network that is 1.100, you have to set the IP address of your network interface card to be on that same subnet. So if you look at the the IP address section here, you see I set my my network card to have a 192.168.1 address. And you can choose anything other than 100, so I chose 200. Make sure to put the subnet mask in and then hit OK. And that network interface card that's configured with the 1.200, plug that cable directly into your Avalon miner and then surf to 192.168.1.100 and you'll see the following interface. The password is CBT123 and I'll show you real quick how to uh, how to change that password so this is the interface you see when you first log in click on system and then click on administration and the first thing you're going to want to do is put in your own password okay so now you've got your own password in you've got to get it connected to the network so you click on network up at the top and you click on Wi-Fi. Okay, so right now we're connected to the Air Nuggets Wi-Fi, which is the Wi-Fi here at CBT Nuggets. And for you to connect to your own, you click on Scan. Let it scan. I hope I hit it right. I'm on a tablet here and trying to use my big fat fingers. Uh, come on now. There we go. So you choose the, the Wi-Fi network that you want to join. And in my case, I'll just go ahead and rejoin the Air Nuggets. You put in your super secret password. And then you hit Submit. Now, this is a really critical step here. Uh, if you notice in the top right, it says Unsave Changes. you got to scroll down to the bottom and hit Save and Apply. So the way that this interface works is you can make some changes without actually applying them. And then when you're ready to apply all your changes, you hit save and apply. That way you're not going to lock yourself out of the router in the middle of making some changes, or out of the device, I mean. All right, so now we are on that Air Nuggets network, which we already were, but in your case, you're going to be on your home network. Okay, you click on status at the top. And then you go to CG Miner Configuration. Okay, then you fill in the pool that you're going to be mining to. I like Allegius, you can mine with whatever pool you want. But if you do do Allegius, um, the address is already in there. You put in your wallet address, and you can put anything in for the password. Um, you should get an account at uh, either Slush's pool or BTC Guild or somewhere else as a backup at least. And if you don't want to do it as a backup, you can do it as a, a load balancer down here. Okay, so I've got it set at 400 uh, chip frequency. The, the lower you go in the chip frequency, the less power it uses and the less hash rate you get. So just decide which, what's your sweet spot there. The 400 will run you about 610 to 620 watts. So be careful you only put one or two of these Avalon miners on any, any given circuit. All right, so once you uh, are done with your changes, you click Save and Apply again. And you'll notice that it says waiting for changes to be applied. Uh, shows you the directory. And in a second, it'll just kind of stop. And boo! Booyah! Okay, now over on CG Miner status, the link on the far right, um, you'll see the stats as soon as it actually starts to mine. So typically, it's about 10 seconds after you change the configuration that it will start to mine. So I'm just going to hit CG Miner status again. And there we go. So you see at the top, the average mega hash is 77, and at the bottom, the five second average is 44 giga hash. So I'm just going to hit it a few more times, and you'll see that it'll kind of stabilize out at 60 60. Um, with the latest firmware, it's a little bit more than 60, but you see my, uh, my five second is 68, and my average overall is 71, 69, 66. So you can see the elapsed time that it's been up. But anyway, that's all you do. So you've changed your password, you join the Wi-Fi, and you put your own wallet address in, 
and you are mining. Just make sure that you uh, keep the miner cool. Uh, there's the air goes one way, so make sure that the hot air is vented somewhere where the hot air can go. You don't want to vent the hot air against the wall and back into itself, or it'll overheat. And uh, have fun. Oh, 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 one last thing. Go to, uh, I can't do it right now, go to bitcoin.cbtnuggets.com, and you'll see a free video series on everything about Bitcoin. There's about 15 videos, and they're 20 or 30 minutes each, and they're really very good. All right, thank you again for your purchase.